Hi guys and good morning-ish. It's not really the morning anymore. It's kind of like early afternoon and I'm currently in the nursery kind of just like organizing some stuff, doing some laundry and um, I thought I would take you guys along with me on today's day. We are going to be going to the house. I can show you some of the demos that have been happening the house looks completely different if you missed our empty house tour i will link it down below because it is already a crazy transformation it is raining outside i had a doctor's appointment this morning i've been having a lot of doctor's appointments because i'll tell you guys a little bit later on in this video but some things are now considered high risk i have two doctor's appointments a week monitoring the baby before I deliver and my birth plan has changed quite a bit since the last time I talked to you guys about it. So I'll give you guys that whole update in a little bit. But I've just been chilling in the nursery. Not much has changed in here I don't think since I showed you guys last. I did get this really cute little rug for in here. I also got this mirror and this lamp from Facebook Marketplace and they are so pretty and nothing has really changed over here. Nothing has changed over here, I don't think. And this is what I need to do today. I need to pack my hospital bag. That is something that I have been putting off and putting off and I don't know why it feels so daunting to me, but it just really does. So I'm going to do that today with the motivation of this vlog you guys can help me pack my hospital bag and i am gonna go get dressed because i'm still in my pajamas and let's go pick out an outfit to wear okay so i got some thread up packages in the mail and i'm gonna do a little try on for you guys but i wanted to say thank you to thread up for sponsoring today's video thread up is a huge online thrift and consignment shop that sells women's and kids clothing and they have over 40,000 different brands to shop from i love to just type in my favorite shops like madewell free people anthropology and shop from thread up that way it makes it super easy and you can find so many good things for up to 90% off estimated retail price so I love shopping on thread up I also just love thrifting and secondhand shopping because it gives clothes a whole new life it's better for the environment and it's also like a little treasure hunt it's like very satisfying to shop secondhand so let me show you guys some of the things that I got and don't forget to stay tuned till the end of the try on haul because thread up gave me a very special promo code for you guys to use so let's get in to the try on haul. Here is one of the first things I got. I made sure to get things that I could wear with this baby bump, but this was originally from Forever 21 and it is this really cute cropped t-shirt. I've been living in things like this, especially with like a pair of biker shorts to go run errands basically just live in stuff like this so the original estimated retail price of this top was $20 and I got it for $10.99 which is a great deal and I feel like this would also be cute to go under like overalls and things like that just a really nice simple basic okay next up is this little tunic that I got from Free People and this is another just super comfy cozy thing that I can throw over maternity jeans or biker shorts like I'm wearing right now so soft so cozy for every day I love this like waffle knit material and the estimated retail price of this one was $34.07 and I got it for $13.99 which is amazing for a free people top and this one actually still has the tags on it oh I just realized it also has little thumb holes. I also got this really cute workout top. I just, I can't believe this big belly right now. But this top is from Aloe Yoga and it is so soft and I thought the cropped would be cute to accentuate the belly and it honestly is really really comfortable as well aloe has amazing workout clothes and this top was originally $54 and I got it for $25.99 and I'm gonna be wearing this so much even when I'm not pregnant anymore it's gonna be a very cute workout top okay I also got two really cute perfect for the summer dresses so here is the first one 
and I'll show you in the mirror so you can get a better look at it. But this is from Free People originally. It's like a really stretchy, nice, light material and it fits over the bump perfectly. Anything with like a tie up here works best, I feel like for maternity wear, but I absolutely love this dress. I think it is so adorable and really flattering as well. And the estimated retail price of this dress was $128 and I got it for $50.99. Okay, this dress might just be my favorite. This one was originally from Madewell and it is such a pretty pattern. I love the yellow. I feel like this is very perfect for summer and it is very bump appropriate as you can see it's a wrap dress i feel like wrap dresses work really well with baby bumps but this dress is so pretty it's a really nice silky material i love the pattern of it it is so happy and bright and the estimated retail value of this dress was 119 dollars and i got it for 41 dollars and 99 cents so if you guys want to check out thread up i will have everything in the description box below you can click on the link and use my code kristen to get 30 percent off of your first order so you can save some extra money and get some cute summer clothes now we're gonna go over to the new house we go over there like every single day to just look at all of the renovations and how the demos are going and everything like that so i'll take you guys along with us and kind of show you guys what the process is looking like it is seriously raining outside look at this it's really raining but we are currently at chick-fil-a we were inspired because Marcus found something on Amazon and we needed to try it out. It is a little um, tray that you stick on your steering wheel and then it's like acts as a little plate for you to eat on out of your car. So he's inside Chick-fil-A right now getting our food. Oh my gosh, a perfect flip. That's pretty cool that Are it you does that. Me? Honestly, that's really smart. Listen. If you don't have one, which I didn't as of an hour ago, but every single person needs one of these things and you just shove it under your driver's seat and it's gonna be perfect. But the thing is, what does the passenger do? The passenger does what they've always do, done, but the driver has a hard time because you have the steering wheel in front of you and it's like, you're kind of cramped. You can't oh, like spread true, out. Oh, that's true, I guess. You know, you can kind of lean forward and like. Now you need to find me a tray that somehow works on the passenger side. It's called, I gave you a baby, and then now uh, you put it right there. <laughs> this is my tray now. We made it to the house, and I've been actually wearing a mask inside because it is so dusty in there, especially when they're actually doing construction. It really hurts your lungs, so I have been wearing a mask inside our house, but let's go in and see what they've been doing. They've been working so hard i feel like in just one week there has been s pretty much all the demos are done wouldn't you say most of it most of our walls are down i would say okay welcome to our house welcome to my house Can you me? you're gonna get me copyrighted oh oh my gosh the floor is out i don't have to go out oh the oh careful dude there's are you wearing shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Like thick shoes. There's staples all over the ground. Okay, here is what the pantry currently looks like. Look how much bigger this room looks now that everything is out of it. But look at the house. It's basically like just gone bye-bye. And I know some of you are gonna be sad about the original floors being taken out. They were basically our exact original floors from our LA house. But here's the thing about renovating a house. You have to do the things that you want to do. <laughs> so you can't feel sad when people are like, you, people were actually sad about us getting rid of the stone wall. All right, they're out of control for that. And just, so this is all I got to say about that. Okay. But anyways, we're definitely gonna be making a lot of changes and I understand some people like more traditional looks of houses and stuff like that. But, but it's not your house. Here is the living room. Here is the kitchen. Oh my goodness. 
Then here is the nursery once again. This is the only room that really not a ton is changing. So it's basically the same in here. Also, this is opened as well. The staircase is gonna go like this now. So it's gonna have more light and be more open. But this is what our main bedroom looks like right now. All opened up. It's so fun to see everything opened up because you can really visualize like how much more space you're gonna have and how you can lay everything out. This I feel like is one of the craziest transformations already and it's the basement. So I don't know if you guys remember from the house tour but the ceilings were like this weird <laughs> office building ceilings with like the metal roof like you can see and now they're gone and look how much higher up the ceiling is it is actually insane you can see it even better over here because there's some framing here still left but over here you can see how much higher the ceiling got and then here's all the metal framing okay we're walking down to go see paws we actually haven't seen her in a couple of days because she's probably out hunting been a little rainy oh, oh let's let's introduce them to our neighbors these are our next door neighbors and there's so many of them pause she keeps knocking over her water she's so weird That's where water. is she there's enough water here for her she just knocks it over her food is fine we got her some um what are they called just automatic, just automatic feeders. feeders. So she'll just, maybe she's just not used to automatic feeders, but she'll get used to it real quick. Are these skylights up here? Yeah. Like on purpose? Yeah. Wow. Well, officially another day has passed where I have not packed my hospital bag, but I am going to do it in the morning. So I'm going to continue this vlog, but I did do something productive. I did write my list in my notes app of everything that i'm going to pack in my bag so that was a step in the right direction but we've been hanging with family all night marcus's parents were in town and they're leaving tomorrow morning so we spent time with them and lexi and cody and now we are home and it is now uh 10 o'clock so i'm gonna go shower and get in bed and let me see if Camper wants to say hello to you. He does want to say hi. You do want to say hi? I knew you wanted to say hi. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Love you. Good morning, it is the next day. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup, which is why I look a little cray. But I thought now would be a good time to fill you guys in on my birth plan changes a lot has changed like I was mentioning yesterday at the beginning of the video um, so let's just get into it because I'm sure a lot of you who have given birth have been through something similar where maybe the way that you initially planned on giving birth isn't a possibility anymore and it can be really hard to wrap your mind around so I've just been kind of processing everything and I just wanted to share the changes that have happened. So I'll start from the top of like what my initial dream birth plan was. And that was to have a midwife from the start of my pregnancy to the end of my pregnancy and have a home birth. Now I knew I probably wasn't gonna be able to do that because we were moving to Tennessee halfway through my pregnancy. So in LA, I had just gotten like a regular OBGYN. I didn't even find a midwife. And once we got to Tennessee, I did find a midwife and um, I wanted to deliver at a birthing center because I felt like that was kind of like a good in between of like home birth and hospital birth was a birthing center. So that's what I was planning on doing. And because we moved to Tennessee when I was 22 weeks pregnant, I feel like I wasn't really able to build like that really strong relationship with my midwife that I was wanting because at the office that I go to there's actually like multiple different midwives so I've only met each of them like a handful of times and that wasn't like my ideal situation because I really just wanted one midwife that was going to be like my go-to girl that I could just 
really text anytime I had any questions or um, you know just really have a close relationship with if that makes sense anyways so I had been going to see my midwives I was still planning on an unmedicated birth at the birthing center and then I got sick a few months ago it wasn't COVID or anything but I just got a cold and I had a really bad cough and then after I was done being sick I had really bad chest pain and my midwives were like it's probably a pulled muscle from you coughing but since you have a history of blood clots from my car accident that Mark and I got in so I went to go see a specialist and we did a ton of blood work all of those tests came back great I don't have any like underlying clotting disorders and I don't have a blood clot I think it was just a pulled muscle from coughing so much but she still felt like I should have been seeing a more high risk specialist throughout my whole pregnancy so I've been getting uh like checkups twice a week once a week I get an ultrasound and then once a week I get a non-stress test and like a regular checkup and that's going to be happening till the end of my pregnancy because they just want to monitor and make sure everything's okay which I totally understand but also in the back of my mind I'm like is this all necessary? I don't know but I'm going to trust the doctors that it is necessary. Um, and then the specialist also recommended that I get induced if I go past my due date which I was not on board with and I told her I really don't want to be induced and that's just for personal reasons and um, she was like okay we're just gonna have to keep you monitored and she also recommended that I don't do the birthing center and that I do the regular hospital but you know I'm just trying to take everything as it is and like just trust God that he knows exactly how I should be giving birth and that everything is gonna go according to plan so that's kind of where my birth plan is at right now in the hospital hopefully not getting induced if everything continues to go smoothly okay makeup is done I'm just wearing this big t-shirt dress today and now let's go pack my hospital bag here is what I'm going to be packing in this is a really cute little bag this uh is from scandy born it's from the brand nobo dean knows <laughs> oh nobody knows wait a second nobo knows is that a play on words or am i just going crazy first are a few things that i'm gonna have to just put in once we are like leaving to go oh my gosh <laughs> So a phone charger, toothbrush, and toothpaste. I'm gonna bring those once we're about to leave because I need to use those every day until I have the baby. Um, face wipes, moisturizer, chapstick, comfy socks. Okay, silverette nipple covers. Let me grab those. So these I've heard are like a lifesaver for your nipples when you are breastfeeding. So you just literally put them inside your bra over your nips <laughs> between breastfeedings and they're just supposed to soothe and protect them so i'm gonna be packing these two outfits for the baby plus some hats this is hard because how am i gonna choose which outfits to bring him in okay let's just see so these are all of his newborn clothes i think i'm gonna bring this one because it is very adorable i'll show you and this is like more on the tiny side so i'm going to bring one that's like tiny and one that's a little bit bigger i think i'm also going to bring this little tie up shirt and little pants for him oh my gosh like are these going to be small enough they're newborn size but it's hard to know okay i'm also going to bring <laughs> this one Look how cute, just like a nice little simple zip up. And maybe that should be it because I'm only gonna be in the hospital. I don't know, hopefully not that long. And then I think that should be good. Maybe I'll bring this one too. Just a cute little simple. Okay, now I have four outfits at this point for him. So I know I'm already overdoing it. Look at this. This is from this brand called Butter, and it's literally butter. It is the softest, squishiest little nursing pillow. So I'm going to bring this, but I'm probably not going to put it in the bag yet. 
because it's kind of big. Okay, blanket in. And I'll also do the swaddle with the blanket. And then his hat and socks. I'll put his socks in his hat. And then I'll put all of his clothes in one pocket. Marcus, come look, you'll be so proud. He's been really wanting me to pack this hospital bag. Oh, babe! I just fell down the stairs. Oh. oh my gosh, are you okay? Did you just fall down the whole stairs? Like halfway. Oh, here. So you gotta be careful. Babe, I was really scared. I was filming. It's always packed. I was gonna show you that I packed my hospital bag. <laughs> I just fell down the stairs really bad. Uh, I've never fallen downstairs Babe, before. Babe, that gave me a heart attack. My heart just... What? My elbow just went like... See where it's like Those cut on the stairs? Those stairs are way too... They're way too steep mm -hmm. and slippery. Wow. Well, I've packed my hospital bag. Nice. <laughs> literally why I did not want to have all the baby stuff upstairs because I knew Ooh. how slippery these sla stairs are. Slippery with the baby. Slayers. Yes. And yes. I knew one day Ooh. maybe I could, I didn't want to fall with the baby or anything like that. Go, go. Ooh, I'm glad you're okay though. Very glad. If you guys have any things that you think I should definitely pack that were super helpful to you, let me know in the comments and I'll add it. I'll add it to the back. Well, now we're at the river. There's Marcus. There's Camper and Honey. Honey's actually over there. But we just went and bought some lunch. And so now we're ending the day here at the river. This is how I sit in the middle of the river in my little lawn chair. It's so pretty. And I'm going to end the vlog here because this is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I wanted to say thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you guys can still get 30% off of your first ThreadUp order using my code Kristen at checkout. Go!